you know where we're going? Right now, we have to hide. Arthur and I know a place. And Lucas, he's waiting at your chateau. All in good time. We're going to see Lucas again? <laughs> I hope so. I like Lucas. He's nice. Save your breath, Hugo. We're on the right track. Let's keep moving. We're not safe yet. Tell me, what the hell are you doing with the Inquisition after you? What's so special about the little guy? It's complicated. And what about your brother? Will he be all right? He'll catch up with us. He really saved our lives. It was incredible. Hey, don't get all lovey-dovey. He'll break your poor little heart. Um, I, I, no. Hey, I'm in. Yeah, we're going to use it to cross. What? Is he always like that? He hasn't seen much of the world. This isn't the best moment to start. First one to the middle is... Hey, slow down. It's closed. I'll do it. It's open. Oh, a big wheel. It's for crushing the wheat. The current's too strong. How are we going to get across? By stopping it. And how are we going to stop it? Hugo, can you take care of it? All right. Can you do it, Melly? This is where we see if it'll hold up. Well, doesn't look like I'll be taking a bath today. Amicia, you're not leaving without me, are you? I'm coming, Hugo. I'm just trying to find a way to get you across. <laughs> you sound like Arthur. That's it. Stop. All right. And there you go. See? Simple. We beat the mill. If the Inquisition make it this far, that'll hold them up for a while. Spotted. Thanks. Come on, Melly. We're going to try and get up. All right. What about me? We'll be back soon, I promise. Very well. <clears throat> Not much here. Wow, we're rich. We may not be rich, but a little luck. If luck was found under horses' hooves, then farriers would rule the world.
on. Are you trying to impress me or what? No. All right, come on. It's pretty here, and it smells like earth. Yucky duck, is that where Lucas is? I hope so. I doubt this castle is going to look like much. Why? This used to be a village, but it was reduced to rubble in just one night, years ago. Some say there's a curse around these parts. Monsieur? She's joking, Hugo. Of course I am. Since when do I say anything true, eh? The people... Oh. You know what that is? Hawthorn, I think. Nobody likes it because of the thorns, but it's good for the heart. Well, aren't you a fount of knowledge? Mommy taught me. You can teach me, then. And will you teach me how to use the sling? It's a deal. What were you up to? Just a detour. Amicia. Hugo, what are you doing? Come here. <gasps> Hugo, Hugo, look at me. Is it starting again? Your head? It's like... Somebody's going inside. My legs... My legs are shaking. Don't say he's been bitten. It's not the bite. It's something in his blood since he was little. I'll have to carry him. Climb on my back if you can. Come on. Sorry. Don't worry. If it's in his blood, what about you? I'm fine. Lucas is trying to slow the effects down. That's also why we're going to the chateau. Amicia, I'm scared. Of what, Hugo? What's in my head? Don't worry. We're all scared of what's in our heads. Here we are. You'll be able to rest. At last. Help me lift this. I'm coming. Hugo, can you climb down, please? Uh, is this your house? It's a hideout, lad. It's meant for hiding out, not banquets with lords and ladies. Don't touch that. It's my brother's. That's worth a lot, that is. How long have you been living like this? Like ruffians and beggars, you mean. Family tradition. Our dad was a piece of rubbish. Tried to beat us one time too many, so we skedaddled. But you, you're almost royalty. Royalty? Huh. Monsieur. What does huh mean? I'm cold. Can't you see? Look at us. We've lost everything. What do you mean? Who's going to pay us then? What are you talking about? Your mate Lucas. He said you're rich. Just I... forget it, all right? Take Arthur's straw mattress, and when he finally gets here, we'll have a proper discussion. So, see anything? No, nothing there. Hey, men! This way! I need some help! Where does that go? Outside. Yes, but where? 
Just trust me. And your brother? He should have been here by now. Sorry. Don't give up on him just yet. Shit. Stay down. He has a helmet. Ah. Oh, Devorantes. What? Devorantes. So pizza and alcohol. It burns your face and melts steel. No one can keep their helmet on with that. Get some ready. All right. Go on. Aim for the helmet. Hit him on the head with a rock. Go on. Serves him right. It's noisy. Try to be a bit more enthusiastic, will you? Shit. Look, there's one with a helmet. You know what to do. Yes. Any idea where the red stones are? In one of the boxes. But it's an unholy mess in there. I think it came from over there. That's our way out. Listen, Amicia, you have the sling, so you go first. Hugo, you, uh, keep a lookout. And stay quiet. All right. Understood. They're still looking for me. Forest. My mother told me about it when I was little. Nasty things happened here a long time ago. Worse than the bite. It gives me goosebumps even now. Well, it is a bit chilly. Laugh all you like, but the ground never forgets the blood spit on it.
What was that noise? Nothing. <laughs> I need to calm down. That's right, you were there. I hope the kids made a right mess of the English. I've never seen an explosion like it. My ears are still ringing. We got the one who did it, though. The young thief who was helping the Darude. He held at the Bastion for interrogation. He should think himself lucky. If he didn't have information about the boy, he'd be little chunks of meat by now. Hey! There it is again! Wait a minute. Nothing. What the hell is going on here? Be right back. Keep your eyes peeled. Hmm. No, nothing. If we hadn't had to deal with the mess of the English camp, we'd have had them by now. Nicholas is gonna be furious. Someone's gonna get it in the neck. And Vitalis, you might think the captain of the guard is scary, but the old man, <laughs> believe me, when he's disappointed, he burns people alive just to take his mind off it. You must be pretty damn special, young man, to merit all this nonsense. It's not my fault. And he's humble, too. So, still nothing? No, they're only kids. Probably just hiding in the bushes somewhere. Well, there's a lot of men looking for just some kids. And the Grand Inquisitor is being pretty tough on Lord Nicholas. Oh, Nicholas is used to it. They don't call him that Scarlet Bob for nothing. I did hear something over there. So, it was a false alarm. First time was already too much. Let's go.
Nearly there. The portcullis is down. There's always a side entrance. There. Let's get out of here. Come on. Go ahead. So kind of you, Your Highness. Go on, get moving. What are you going to do to me? Careful. It's Lucas. The car should be arriving soon with fresh supplies. They take you to the Inquisition Bastion in town. Amicia, do you have any Devorantis left? Yes. Then go on. Knock his helmet off. I heard that. And what about you, Lucas? How are you? Uh, can we talk while we run? Or we can sit down with some wine and some roast chicken and wait for them to come and kill us? What do you reckon? You're right. Let's get going. The chateau shouldn't be far now. Let's go. Come on. It's not far to the aqueduct. Seems like you've been through some tough times. You don't say. You forgot to tell us about the Inquisition. You wouldn't have accepted the deal. The one where your friends are rich. We'll sort it out. Tell my brother that. What's all this? An accident? An Inquisition cart. The rats. There must be things we can salvage from inside. I don't see how we can get past. Oh, Amicia, I have something for you. It's a byproduct of Ignifio. Luminosa. Well, you throw it into a pile of rats and... Anyway, you'll see. Here, take it. Salt, beta, alcohol, and liver. Mix them together. All right. Throw it to the rats. Wow. Boom! Luminosa. Uh, my eyes sting. <laughs> it completely destroyed them. Lucas, the cart's packed full of our chemical material. Makes sense. The Inquisition. They couldn't have got as far as the macula without reading the alchemical writings. I don't know what they're up to. But whatever it is, these carts will be useful. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Finally. They're going to find out at last. <clears throat> Climb up. I'll help you. Yes. <clears throat> Let's go up the yucky duck. Hugo, it's aqueduct. Oh. A <clears throat> duct. <clears throat> aqueduct. Melly, where's your brother? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, all, all right. Well spotted. Climb up. All right. What? Is that it? There's nothing here. Lucas, I... Don't tell me we've done all this for nothing. No, no, no. Laurentius was smarter than that. It's an alchemist's trick. Gold is born from lead. The door shall only reveal itself to the one who has the key. Something like that. Mm. I prefer use your eyes before using your mouth. 
Who's going first? Nice one. Uh, Amicia? Come on then. We've come this far. That's my girl. that's collected underground. Hey, there's a pontoon. People used to use this place. We're on the right track. I've never heard of it before. And the chateau? Where is it? Well, if you want to know, we'll have to get across first. Well done. Ferry. A what? A boat that's propelled by a rope. You pull it by hand. There's a hand crank. Over to you, Melly. Lucas, come and help instead of sleeping. Uh, yes, yes. The water's green. Well, that's because there are a lot of things living in it. They must be very cold. Once, Father took us to the Lake of Tours, and I slipped and fell in the water. It was so cold it made me cry. <laughs> I would have cried too. Your boat awaits. Shall I get in? Yes, you go get in. I hope they can swim. Hold on tight. There you go. Whoa. I can't see any fish. Oh, that's because of the monster. What? A monster? Of course. The underground lakes are magical. Huge, ancient monsters hide in their depths. And watch out, they're very hungry. No, they're not. And if there were monsters, we'd see some big bubbles. <laughs> you got me. Mummy used to say that monsters are just those things... those things too. Just those things to which we have never given a name. She told me that too. I would quite like to see a monster, actually. Right, this is where we get off. Oh, it was too quick. I know, but it's someone else's turn now. There are no monsters here, but there might be a whale. A whale is big, you know. Yes, but a little one. Why not? A shy whale that doesn't want to show itself. It's shy because it's small. <sighs> but I'm sure it's pretty. Over to you! We're coming! It's all right. You can let go. Fine, I just don't like water much, that's all. Really, I'm sorry I lied to you. I thought that Demetia and Hugo might die, and I was scared. I... Forget it. It's all behind us now. But anything that takes my fancy at the castle is mine, all right? Fair enough. What were you saying? Things for grown-up ears. All right, let's keep going. Not for long. Make some room. Open. Oh, there you go. Of course. I hadn't missed them. What is this place anyway? It's... No, it could be. What the... 
that hanging brazier can start the length of the trench. Lucas, that one, the other way, and... Slow down. It's a defense system. Like a castle. Like a rat trap. Protecting something. And? How does it work? Easy. The braziers push the rats towards the pit and they get trapped there. Could be useful. Who built it? I don't know, but it looks ancient. Come on, Lucas. Let's take a look. Right, Smelly. While the boys are daydreaming, we should get going. Who built this? Some, uh, some knight, perhaps? I don't think knights know how to use stolen mortar. Craftsmen. There are a lot of those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lucas? <gasps> it was built a long time ago. But the rats haven't been here for that long. Mm. Right. That gives me goosebumps. Yeah, go on, into the pit. We have to get to the other side. All right, come on. Come, I'll get you up. All right. A lot of Do you think we could get that down? Well spotted. <laughs> All right, I'll take care of the door. Per very efficient. Let's go. Follow me. Of course. Another door. Maybe it's the right one. I just hope there are no rats behind it. Melly, need a little help here. On my way. Ooh. Come on! I'm starting to get fed up of all these doors. Look! We found it! The castle! Whoa. It really exists. Chateau d'Ambroche. It's amazing. I had a moment of doubt, but... The sort of alchemist legend I like. Come on, let's take a closer look. Can you do it, Melly? All right. It's done. Is that supposed to be the miracle remedy they talk about? Ugh, it doesn't smell very good. Huh, you're not wrong. Let's try it. 
Are you kidding? Incredible. That tower over there. It's the living quarters. It must be several centuries old. It looks like it's dry, but there's a pit in the way. It's full of rats. It's another trap. There has to be another way to get through. It's open. They all decided to meet here, it seems. Look, a brazier. Let's see if I can light it. So we can get the rats to move. Lucas, Hugo, stay out of the rain. We'll open up a path to the tower. All right. Come, Hugo. Ready, Melly? As long as we get them out of the way. of Chateau d'Ambrage. Two girls versus thousands of rats. This battle will go down in history. <sighs> Look, they're moving. <clears throat> we should be able to reach the central section now. Yes, that's a good first step. I'll let you go first, because rats are your thing. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I feel better already. Oh, I'm going to need Melly to push that. Forming like nobles at the king's court, but it's our castle. <clears throat> right, those ones have to be driven into the pit too. And of course, they're on the wrong side of the brazier. I'm gonna have to go down and see what's there. All right, I'll cover you with the brazier. I'm putting my life in your hands, you know. All in a day's work, milady. Whenever you're ready. Think you can do this? All right. Wow! It could do with a bit of grease. <laughs> Would you rather be down here? I'm fine. I'm just warming up. I'm at the end. What do you see? More braziers. I can get up on the ramparts. 
We're going to make it. Hugo will be safe. We'll all be safe. sector now. I have to get back to the ladder. All right, here we go again. Have you done it? Yes. Are you all right, Hugo? I'm fine, but I hear you shouting. Don't worry, the storm will drown out our voices. Soon we'll all get to see the tower. Yes. Good luck. Whenever you want. <clears throat> the bridge. We'd better lower it. And so, Misia the Amazon and Meli the Stealthy conquer the Chateau d'Ombrage. You've read too many books. I... Come on. We still have to clean up the area down there. We're going to need the brazier from the ramparts. I'll cover you with this one. All right. I'm going down. <clears throat> well, uh, what is it? Nothing. It's just a crappy old lever. Melly. You always know the right thing to say. It's going to be all right. It's your castle. You have a connection. Our castle. Imagine, we could all live here together. I'm more of a cellar girl, you know. I'm going to get up there. You'll need a ladder. But the damn rats are everywhere. I don't know, Amicia the Amazon. Very funny.
efforts, they readied themselves to recover what was rightfully theirs. A home! Stop it! Come on, I'm sure there's a cellar for you here somewhere. Amicia, it's not that simple. You don't know me. All right, I understand. our victory. Would you mind if we get out of the rain, please? Right. To the tower. Yes. Come over to the fire and warm up. It's huge. We'll have time to explore tomorrow. This is our home now. <laughs> 